We have a, a very interesting case today at Eurocare uh, Motor Specialist Hospital. Uh, we have a patient who has a history of kidney stones, um, who is presented to us with severe right-sided loin pain. Uh, this has been intermittent and ongoing for the last few months. Um, she initially thought she had malaria, however, it proved not to be the case. However, she came to our attention when she de developed blood in her urine, what's called visible hematuria. Uh, when she saw me, we requested a CT scan, and what we have is a copy of the cross-sectional imaging that we have here. And that's confirmed a large stone in her right kidneys. Uh, as you can see on the image, it's quite a large stone. Uh, on the actual image, there's about a one centimeter stone in the right renal pelvis. And what we're going to do today is to perform endoscopic uh, flexible uterine endoscopy and laser the stone. This is relatively new technology in Nigeria and we're one of the first centers to have the full capability to be able to offer this. So we are going to offer a patient laser endoscopic treatment today and hopefully get her home uh, this afternoon. And with the joy of uh, working and uh, one of the big successes of your case, we have our in-house uh, radiologist, uh, Dr. Afolabi. Dr. Afolabi, good afternoon. I just wonder whether you could kindly talk me through this patient's cross-sectional imaging, because we're about to operate on her. Okay. We did the CTKUB for this okay. patient, and then we discovered this uh, calculus okay. lodging at the right renal pelvis, okay. and uh, this is the axial view, and this is the corona plate. You can see it here, and also on the surgical plate. I mean, it's, it's very impressive to have a CT scan and the facility to be able to scan patients. And having this allows me to plan the surgery. This particular image is quite, quite interesting. The 3D reconstruction. Yes. Obviously. You can see the stone there. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to getting the patient stone free. Thank you. This is a ureteric access sheath, which allows us to slide straight into the kidney. Okay, if you hold on to the wire, please. Okay. Okay, all the way into the bottom. Just stiffen up that image. Excellent, okay. Follow me north, please keep going. Keep going. That's, so we're inside the patient's kidney. There's our stone, beauty, okay. Okay, what's the, what's the reading on this? Is this 0 0.8 and 5? Okay, ready everyone? Increase the hertz. Is the hertz currently what? Hertz is five. Increase, increase. increase okay. To fifteen. Yes. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Okay, fine. The stones are broken up into several pieces, so we're now going to fish out the stones, and that's the end of the procedure. Well, stone coming out. Open. Close. Okay, so that's the end. The operation is essentially over. We've cleared the stones in the kidney. Now we're going to insert a ureteric stent. Screen life, please, Vincent. No, stiffen the wire. Oh, sorry. Now we're stenting the patient. Up, we're inserting a, a ureteric stent into the patient. Okay, screen life, please, Renzo. Keep screening, keep screening. Keep screening. Now look to your left again. Look at that. To your left, keep screening. Okay. Look to your right. Look at the C arm. Okay. Ready? Screen life. Excellent. A successful operation. Uh, a right flexible urethroscopy and laser vaporization of stone. We have a, a number of stone fragments to show for our troubles. It's a number of tiny little residual stones. This looks like a calcium oxalate monohydrates, they were very dry, very hard stone, required a lot, of, a lot of energy to laser vaporize. I think the patient will be very happy with the outcome and hopefully she'll be able to return back to work tomorrow or the day after.